Well, hey guys and gals, it's me, Big Console. Uh, welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm on our PC console multiplayer challenge map. Uh, guys, I'm still feeling a bit under the weather, so forgive the rough sound of the voice. Uh, right, so yes, that, that out of the way. Um, what I'm actually going to do here is, it's not actually the multiplayer. Uh, what I have done is I have updated the map. And I thought we'd take a wee run around the map and have a look at what differences were made whenever they uh, changed the map. So, let's have a quick peek around. Uh, so, we'll start here at the spawn point. Uh, well, it looks the same so far. Apart from, the gates are closed. Any of you remember the map before, these were always open. We couldn't open or shut these gates. Now we can. So in the open position, this is where they were originally, uh, on the previous version. So that's pretty cool. Next thing we see straight off is there's a railing along the hay loft. That is new as well. That was always open. So let's have a run up here. Uh, no, go up the ladders. Up. Here we are. Yeah, so now I've got a heal, uh, a reeling along here. It is a reeling with a collision on it. So, if you're working away up here with your skid steer or whatever, putting bales away, you're not going to fall off, which is pretty good. But this here is also new too. It's the BSM 260, and if you look at our help menu there, uh, oh, we can remove the fence, press B, and it falls away. Press B again, brings it back up. Woohoo! So that, yeah, that's pretty cool because skid steers are sometimes hard to control. So, if you did accidentally turn the wrong way, or <laughs> had an accident, at least you're not falling off and making a mess of everything. Or you can stack bills right against it. And it's done in sections as well, so there's one, two sections. And there's a third one around here as well. As you can see there. So that's the second change to the map, which is pretty awesome. I've never noticed the grinder there before, but oh well. Uh, I think that's all the changes that were down here, this part of the map. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Right, so let's take a run up here. Oh, now look at this. This is different. It's got a bit of texture to it now. So they've done a bit of work on that one too. And if we run up here, this is new too. They have put some calf boxes in for us. Uh, now they are static, but it it adds a certain realism as opposed to the farm. Uh anything else around the main farm here? Let me look at my list. Uh no. Nothing else there. Next thing we need to look at there guys is we need to run out to the uh fences over here. If you were watching the competition stream you would have seen that uh, a lot of these fields could, would or should have been joined together, but we couldn't do it because these are all in the way. But now, if we go over here, we have that uh, same box, and that same box allows us to remove the fence. So now, if we really wanted to, we can go around and we can join all the fields together. So, for example, 91 here can be joined with 52 all the way around. 
that makes a big difference, uh, especially at this part of the map. I know that this this field here was sometimes hard to harvest with a fence around it because you kept capturing combines and cedar. You know, seeded you catch the cedars. So you know, it was pretty hard at stages. Again, if you just come over here, we can bring the fence back. And of course it brings the gate posts and the gate back as well. Uh I'm try I can't remember if that gate it was originally able to open or close or not. Hmm. Can't remember. Anyway, so let's jump in our uh, fast track. So as you can see guys, um, I've updated this map, but I haven't needed to do a fresh game save. That is one excellent thing about this. There is still, I don't know if you can see it there, when I was driving past you had a bit of a texture flicker at you. Yeah, just at the end of the slurry trough there, you can see it. I don't know if there's anything you can do about that even. They have also apparently added a way into the other part of the cow field, from what I understand. Let's take a look and see if we can find that. I think that's all the changes that they made around the main yard. Again, I've just read the release notes of the guys. Um, I haven't actually been around, so you're having a look at the first time I am. And so far, I've not seen a way in. No, definitely not seen a way in. Maybe it's something I misunderstood when I read the release notes. Oh! Oh! Oh, there's there, look, right in front of me. Duh! Yeah, so they put a gate in here. That now lets you into this part of the field. A lot of us were having to... Well, we couldn't come in underneath the bridge down there, so a lot of us... And uh, uh, I've seen Randy do it as well in one of his videos. Was bouncing your equipment up over this part of the field here to get it in up over the fence. Not the ideal way of doing things, but it was done. I thought we cut that tree down. Hmm. Maybe we did. So let's keep going. So that's all the changes around this part of it, I believe. Um, I did read something in the race notes about a change up around the pig. So we'll have a wee look there next. Let's see if we can spot the difference or why it was just a visual uh, glitch or something, maybe. So yeah, the fence should come down around this field as well, actually. Because so apparently you can get rid of around all the fields. There you go. Just to go and show you that it does hard work with all the fails. Uh, the fence has disappeared again. I uh, reappeared. Uh, you could say that the farms do do that because I mean, there's only a stake in the ground, so you could you could literally just take it out and stick it back in. Get around the entrance for that. F uh, no, that that yep. That field there, you should be able to take it down as well. we'll have a look and see if we can see that. Uh, so far, not seeing anything down here. Let's see what it says in the release notes. Uh, uh, 
We hope we can read me alright there. Okay, I can't read my uh, my own right. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah, something about a wall being moved out here, so. Can't really see anything though. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, there's the control panel for that field there to get rid of the fences. But that was it. So. Now. That's just an open grass field, or if you wanted to replant it in something else, it would be easier to get it out of now. There's no real need for grass anyway down here because the pigs don't take it. So this could go on. Let me have a normal look at the release notes. Uh, uh, yeah, sawmill's the next one. It's just a minor change done at the sawmill. Let's see if we see if we can notice it before I say. Right, so here we are, so I'm out. I know we were discussing one of the one of the streams our guys about planting trees just to show that we have done it without we were having to release the, the video that was taken. As you can see they're freshly planted. It does take about five years for them to grow all seasons though. Right, so down into here. Excuse me guys for keep popping away like that, but um, you don't want to hear me coughing especially. So anybody notice the difference down here? Well, apart from the seed ones, we put them there. We put the uh, silos in. But the question mark has disappeared from here that didn't do anything. Yeah, we'll head up towards the, the, uh, the shop next. Apparently they made an improvement to the traffic as well, so... Hopefully not going to crash into me anymore on this road. So here we are. We're at the shop. And apparently, apparently, they've made this road easier to get in and out of. Okay, the release note said the shop was more accessible. So let's have a big pick up here so we can see what they mean by that. There's the shop. We're still only one road in and one road out. Unless you take the other fence and not disappear. Nope, still only one road in the one road out. The same road, really. May have white that a bit. Okay guys, just for a, a quick note before we continue on, I'm going to be live streaming on YouTube tomorrow night, so that's Saturday the 10th uh, of this month, which is March. Uh, pop along guys, there will be a little something happening in, in the stream. Uh, one lucky person will get a nice surprise, but you'll just have to wait and find out what that is at that time. So that's Saturday the 10th. And it will roughly be around 
Let's see. It 30 GMT, which is 3.30 Eastern, which is, I believe, 4.30 Central? Yeah, so anyway, definitely keep uh, an eye out, guys. Pop along and say hello on the stream. And we shall have a surprise for someone. So let's keep on going. Apparently this is more accessible, whatever that means. Have they done... Ah, they've dropped the path. The path uh, no longer sits up too much there. I suppose that's a positive thing. Yeah, there's no real lip there. And there's no real lip there either. That used to be a lot higher. Ah, that's the... You were never able to see underneath that before. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Next up, BGA. So, yeah. I got one me one uh good thing I noticed about this map whenever I originally played it was that uh oh Field 10, I want to go have a look at Field 10 before we go anywhere, guys. Field 10 here, yeah? There used to be a mad lip in this field. A mad, uh, it was like a, I don't know, a big mad divot. But all the fields have been smoothed out, so they're all nice and level now. That was one thing they did when they went over and revisited all the fields to make sure that they were all nicely shaped. Hey, sorry about this, guys. Uh, my apologies. Apparently, turning off the power for the uh, the power save for the USB hasn't worked here. Unfortunately, we'll have to look into that more. All right, so here we go into the VGA. That's interesting because that shouldn't be there. But the ramp is now one of the ones that falls up and down. And actually, this ramp goes a bit further up than the other ones, so it'll be easier to empty. I wonder if that means you can dump with the truck. I think you could dump the truck anyway, what am I talking about? Uh, one second with this though, I want to see if that pile of um, silage down there was something we did or something they did. Oh, it's obviously something we left behind from selling. Uh, and it's manure as well. So somebody has them sold their manure properly. Interesting. Ooh. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. The uh, the ramp is now... Mo well, you know... You can take the ramp away if you really want to. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. I wonder, did they fix the gates down here? No, nope, they've just taken it away, have they? No, nope, there's it there. No, nope, they've just opened the gate. They haven't actually taken it away. So the gate's just going to stay open now. Ah! But these are new. 
because before you could actually drive around in here. Um, I've actually done it in one of the episodes. Uh, you can still get in there. The fence is no collision, but you can't get back out here anymore. Okay. So the next two things we want to show off, I'll need to look at the map. So let's have a peek at the map. Okay, we have two new cell points apparently. Uh, one for grains and one for Oh, what's this over here? Ah, uh, it's just a little forest. So one for greens and one for uh, root crops. So both the agro lights are still there. The biogas is still there. This one is new. This was Mother Earth. So let's have a peek back down there. Um, I'm starting to think from the title that Mother Earth is for the uh, root crops. Don't know why, I don't know what gives me that idea, but I just think it does. So, let's go and have, keep having a peek. Back out into town. It's... The map seems slightly, I know this is going to sound odd guys, but the map seems slightly smoother though too. doesn't seem to be as jumpy in stages. So I need to keep going. And is this one of our cell, new cell oh this is one of our new cell points. Obviously for the grains. So the put a new cell point in there, that's pretty cool. Excuse me again. Ah, uh, the root crop one is just down here then. We must have drove past it. Never even looked up. Right, okay, um, obviously this isn't going to work for us. I'll have to look at this again. That is really annoying now, so it is. Yep, so let's go and have a look and see if we can find our root crop, which is not this direction. Oh, it's over here. Mother Earth. Yay. So this is the cell point. And... I just have to reverse all to it. So that's your root and your, your roots and your well, potatoes and sugar beet really, isn't it? Uh, uh, well, what else have we got here, guys? I think that's all the, the big visual changes. A lot of changes that we be over in the background as well. Uh, for example, they the put new, sh new shaders in it. Uh, the movable fences, as we've seen. Uh... Apparently there's a problem buying some fields. Um, I never experienced the problem, but it's fixed. Uh, can't read me all right. Yay! The calf huts was seen. The floating trees have all been fixed. I did come across a floating tree in Randy's stream there at the uh, at the you know at Thursday or so. Uh, They've adjusted some of the roads. What do we mean by that? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I think 
adapted to some of the traffic. They have. Man, seriously, I can't even rebuild, right? This is ridiculous. Uh, the biogas ramp we've seen. Uh, the, the info button of the sawmill we've seen is away. Uh, the shop has been more accessible. The only thing I can see there is they've lowered the curbs. That's the only thing I can see. You know, they've, they've taken away the lip there, so maybe it is easier to get in now. We're not sure. Uh, we've seen the grain sale point. We have seen the uh, root crop sale point. They've added the fuel station. We did actually drive past the fuel station. Uh, I forgot about that one, so just... Just your box standard fuel station, really. It does stop you having to travel back to the farms to, to get, uh, you know, fueled up. So, yeah, there we go. What a fuel A station. At least I think that's the one they added, because I can't remember seeing that one before. And the hayloft bars. So, yeah, guys, um, the additions have certainly made it different. Um, the additions of the new cell points have added to the map. You now can get a bit more competition for your grains, so the prices are going to drop just as quick. Excuse me again. Um, yeah. They've smoothed out the fields. Uh, yeah, well, see that—that's the height the curbs were uh, right at the uh, the entrance to the shop there. So I'm thinking that's what they mean by the made it more accessible. There's also something about the farms. I can't remember what it was now, though. Ah, look at you in my way. Traffic in this map hits me. Yeah, so it is pretty cool that they've taken away all the barriers. Yeah, they, they've done some of the, moved a couple of the hay bales around on the, the farm on the northeast of the map as well. Nothing big, they're just a visual change. Just no real point in flying over there, to be honest. So as you can see, the, the fields just aren't as choppy at stages. Uh, I think we're going towards the right farm. Again, excuse me guys, I still feel a bit... Uh, not 100% yet. So it's part, probably part of the map that I have been to the least. Nah, we're going along the top here, aren't we? Ah, it's dirty on our head, that's why. <coughs> well, guys, there you go. Well, that's your Valley of the Old Farm again. Um, definitely let me know what you think of the changes down below. Good, bad, different. Does it add to the map? Uh, definitely the removable fences add to the map. Let me just turn that off so it's not in the background. Uh. Excuse me again. Yeah, definitely the uh, removable fences are a are, are, are big plus. Uh, it makes a lot more of the map joinable. A lot more of the map joinable. Uh, so you can have really mad huge fields now if you want. Not that you could beforehand, but you know, you can basically make three large fields of the map if you really wanted to now, I think. Uh, the two sell points, as I said, make it more interesting. The prices isn't going to drop just as fast, hopefully. So you're still going to get that bit of competitiveness. Uh, again, with the sell point for the root crops adds to it. That new garage, I believe, wasn't there before. But then again, I never repaired that much attention driving past there. Uh, yeah, so uh, the question mark in front of the sawmill was a wee bit annoying that it never done anything. But there you go, it's been fixed. And the 
it says I've adjusted some of the roads. Uh, again, guys, you can drive around the map forever. Uh, it could be the mi most minor of adjustment. You wouldn't have known. Uh, I'm glad to see that they've, they've lowered the pavements around there at the shop to make it easier to get maybe some larger equipment done right. Uh, sometimes with the trailer there on the back of a uh, of a rig, it was a bit tight at stages. And I know that the uh, PC had awkward problems with it whenever they were uh, trying to get their big equipment out. Uh, again, guys, keep an eye out tomorrow for uh, what time do we say? Sorry, seven thirty. No, did I say seven thirty or eight thirty? Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Uh, my time it was seven thirty. Ah well, we'll say eight thirty in GMT. We'll say that's going to be three thirty in. Eastern Standard Time, and it's going to be 4.30 then in uh, Central Standard Time. We'll do the live stream where we'll have some lucky person getting uh, something. Again, guys, thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the update. And I'm sorry about my voice, but, you know, these things happen. And um, I'll catch you all again then uh, tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.